A designer's work doesn't end with choosing materials and artworks, but requires silhouette changes, which are created by modifying the pattern pieces. Silhouette changes are an essential part of a designer's workflow. First, we can use a smart design template garment. If you've updated to the May edition, you will already have access to the smart design templates. Now let's start by downloading the smart design garments. To do so, simply go to the file drop-down menu and click Import from Cloud. You'll then be able to select the Smart Design May Edition option from the Browser Cloud Library to select the garments that you want to work on. Once you have selected the garments, you can view the download progress through Browser Connect. When the download is ready, you'll have the option to open the file instantly. Then click on the snapshot icon to choose the garment you want to begin working on. Once you have selected the garment, Click on the Silhouettes tab where you can edit your garment and toggle between a variety of templates. The Smart Design Garment allows us to create variations of garment silhouettes in a single file by combining different pattern pieces and materials. For example, you can toggle between all the basic dress blocks which combine into one Smart Design template. Now we can view the different silhouettes and toggle back and forth with all the options for the collars, the skirt shape, and sleeve length. Once we are satisfied with the result, we can either keep it as is or save it as a new garment and continue to edit. If you are interested in acquiring a smart design license and being able to configure your own custom smart design template, contact your browser representative. This is a great basic block to start our dress design for the upcoming collection. Let's communicate the pattern changes to the pattern maker using our improved annotation tool. The annotation tool is now available on the main toolbar. When selected, the 3D window displays with a white background and the tools are available immediately below the toolbar. We have an amazing new feature available for annotations, Draw Externally. This feature allows us to explain and express our new design to the pattern maker through a sketch in external image editing software like Photoshop or Sketchbook or any raster-based desktop software. In this case, we are using Sketchbook. Let's insert an inspirational picture and start drawing the new design. We want to add some cut lines to the bodice and volume to the skirt. Press Save and return to vStitcher. We'll add a new annotation. Please follow the sketch and reference image. Once the annotation is added, the pattern maker can hide the drawing or undock the image and edit the pattern with a reference image in front of them. Let's undock the annotation and go to the regular view and change the pattern. The pattern maker can start by choosing a different silhouette from the Smart Design template. For example, V-neck and A-line skirt. This next feature comes directly from your feedback. Now you are able to change the length of a pattern piece in the 3D window in Loda and vStitcher. And here's how. With the Select tool, we can easily drag and adjust the edge of the hem's dress up or down to get different lengths in the 3D window. We can keep the hem parallel without changing the edge length or use the Slide option. The effect is immediate and we can see the changes in the simulation. For more volume, let's slash and spread the skirt. We'll add volume to the hem. Let's add about 39 centimeters to the hem circumference. And implement spread once we're ready. Adding fullness to the back now, we'll do the same and add 9 centimeters to each slash line. And implement spread. Let's add the cut lines to the bodice using the pen tool in the 3D window. Now we'll assign an all-over print. 
Let's assign a seam to the cut lines. This is an all over print AI file. Let's rearrange its location a bit. Using the new integration with Substance, we added the SBSAR file of Rhinestone. Using the brush, let's draw a line around the flower and assign it to the rhinestone. And we'll change the seam spacing. We can easily add embroidery to our garments using the Substance Integration presets. We'll add the small leaf and change its artwork execution to embroidery. And now we complete the journey from sketch to 3D visualization. For more information, visit support.browser.com.